L D N R B S on a weekend. Make sure you hashtag that if you're tweeting or Instagramming or Snapchatting about us. But we are here. We are joined by the whole team. Ty. Most definitely. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and we are joined by our first special guest of the evening. Everyone, big up Fenny Official Mix Night. Hey, most definitely. For anybody that doesn't know who you are, who are you? Okay, so my name is Fenny. So I'm an artist from Kent, Ashford, originally. Yeah, man. Woo woo. Kent, Kent, Kent in, is in the building. Tell yeah. me about the music scene in Kent, man. Sorry? Tell me about the music scene in Kent. Oh, you know, it's kind of dry to me. <laughs> yeah, at least you're not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. There ain't really anyone representing hard from Kent, so mm. that's where we're trying to change the, yeah. the whole motive, you know what I mean? Because like, everyone looks to London most of the time, so yeah, that's what we're, we're trying to change that. So, wait, you're born and bred in Kent then? No, no, no. I was actually okay. born in Zimbabwe. Nice. Born nice. In Zimbabwe. Moved nice. there when I was like seven. Mm. Okay. Yeah, straight to Kent, and then yeah, it's been What kind of influence do you reckon Zimbabwe has on your music? Oh, see, my dad was in a band. Called Horn of Africa. It always tends deep. to go that kind of way, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. So we kind of like he he plays bass in it. So we kind of been into music, my whole family from day one. Um, I could I wouldn't say Zimbabwean music itself like, yeah. influences my music directly. Uh, with my live stuff, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's mostly just because rap music really yeah. is, is what um, uh, relates to yeah. to what I make in it. Mm. Yeah. Who would drop a drop yeah. a first artist that you listen to? J Huss. Ooh. J Huss. Man like Huss is out Jay as well Huss. on the side now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, he's, he's a real one, man. J Huss is cold. But take it way back, way back, way back. Ooh, oh, way, way, back. way, way back. Yeah, way back. Uh, then I'll, I'll have to say Nas. Oh, I most like definitely. Nas, rappers you know, be monkey flipping yeah. with uh, the funky rhythm. I be kicking. J Cole. No one just noticed um, me just trying to <laughs> do some rap in there, but no one noticed. Everyone exactly. just jumped out. I did, but no one noticed. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Yeah, we'll move on, we'll move on, we'll move on. Ty's trying to come in with his ad libs, clearly. So obviously, J Huss. No, so that's quite a bit of a contrast. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I just wanted to reiterate a little bit back on the Kent thing, so it'll be interesting to know. What Kent artists are there at the moment then, and and who do you listen to thus from You know from what, Kent? honestly, mm. like, there's no one. No one. Like, what, I mean, <laughs> if there's one artist in Kent, who would be <laughs> upset at you? Righteous, don't know, you guys oh, yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, course. No, was like I don't. one that was kind of doing yeah. it a bit. Maybe, you know what, I might even get slayed for this. I might have forgotten someone, but I don't yeah. really know anyone really doing anything from Kent. Like, okay. my, my older brother was... Making noise mm. for a while, but he's uh, he's more into like um uh he's got a DJing company now, okay. and management nice. and stuff like that. Like he's, he's sick, but okay. yeah. So yeah. So this really is Fenny. Then this is what you're trying to do: put Kent on the I'm map. Trying, yeah, yeah sure. with a few others. There's uh, some artists from Ashford that are cold as well that are trying to, to push the thing as well. You know okay, I mean? so, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, LDN RBS, we always got a co-sign Most one definitely. first, don't we? So let's take it real back. Okay. From the beginning. From the beginning. How did you? So you moved from Zimbabwe. Yep. Grew up in Kent. Yep. Where did music come from? How did you get into music? Like I say, like I said, my, my dad and then mostly my brother himself, he started, okay. he was spitting. And then obviously in the playground with kids, we all started getting, it was more like grime to start mm. off with. But I was always more into hip hop and rap. Yeah. Um, and then I was playing football before. Football was the dream. Yeah. And then I just Is there of, any black boy growing up <laughs> that, that, boy? Never, <laughs> that never boy? played football? Uh, <laughs> I'd really like to know. Well, maybe. Uh, but yeah, no, it was that first. And then, yeah, just fell in love with music. And mm. then went uni when I started taking seriously, studied music, um, graduated in 2017. Mm. Um, yeah, then that's how it really started. And then from there, just been pushing, pushing, pushing. So when did you first get into the studio? Were you at uni when you did it? Uh, no. Okay. We built, like my brother, he was really into it when he first started. We built a home studio, so my parents nice. kind of support us and they let us yeah. turn the shed into a studio. So we had oh. a couple of friends who... Shout out to your parents, first and foremost. Especially African parents. Oh, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> they all wanted to be that personally. But then for them to really think, you know what? Real support. Also because my dad was a musician okay. himself. He kind of mm. understands that you got to mm. grind. So yeah, they let us turn the shed into a studio. It's like, uh, we still... The songs I make now, a lot of them are recorded there as well. Mm. And then... When I went to uni, that's when I had more access to like better studios and even just just being around the industry, meeting new people. I don't know if you know a guy called um, Richie Fargus, producer. Mm. He's he's played a big part in influencing me, like mm. in terms of music I make. You know, from from early because he started doing classes at our school. He would come do like you know them extracurricular things when it comes to like DJing and um, recording stuff and logic. So when we were kids, he come and then. But f- since then, we stayed in contact and I still like. Um, make music with him now do classes and that now so yeah um, he, he influenced me a lot nice mm. nice so let's take it to the music obviously 
your new, your not your new track, but the track you've got out entitled Elsa. Yeah, relatively. So, describe the sound of your music. What would you say you? What would you classify it as? Uh, kind of like a mainstream, like Afro swing. Um, sound because mm-hmm. uh, that's the vibes I was picking up. Yeah, when I listen it's, to it's it, it's a bit more melodic and a bit more musical than what's mm. out there. That's why I'm trying to be a bit different. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's just kind of Afro swing with a, just a little touch, uh, different touch. In it. Now Afro swing is one of those things where it's almost a trend. Yeah. So what do you think about you mm-hmm. makes you someone that people should go and listen to amidst in this whole world where everybody's doing Afro swing? What sets you apart? Right. Uh, whoa. Uh, what I like. He's like, whoa, I'm going to jump into yeah. this one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna come right away. I feel like um, in my music, I talk a lot of sense. It's mm. not just... Um, <laughs> that was a good sense. Right. It's not really just spitting whatever. Yeah. You know, I try to it's not just ad lips. Yeah, it's not just ad lips. It's trying to be clever with it. Try to be musical <laughs> with it. Yeah, um, and... If you listen, if you hear some of my tunes, yeah, yeah, you might think, oh, it's another guy just chatting about this, this, that. But if you really listen to the lyrics and what I'm trying to say, there's mm. always like a deeper message behind it. Mm. And, you know, slowly introducing these little messages until we get to a bigger stage and a bigger platform for people to really understand who I am. So, yeah, that's what it's about. Nice, Interesting. nice. Interesting. So right. let's talk oh. Elsa then, obviously. Yeah, let's go into it. How did that all come about? Elsa. So, what, from... Writing it or writing what's it about? It, too? I want to know what it's about too. Yeah, but we'll get, we we'll want, go we're, with we're trying it. to okay, know. So okay, from the beginning, beginning. So I had a friend of mine. I met at uni. Very good friend of mine. Producer name's Dami. Um, he's cold. He's sick. Mm. So um, I, I got hold of him. Saying, you know what? I, can't, I need a beat, man. Like um, little Afro swing type beat. Um, but I want it to be quite melodic and musical. A uh, bit kind of bit hard, but soft at the same time. So he was just like, send him. Oh, got you. So he made the um, made the beat. Uh, gave him a little like riff to to build upon. Yeah. And then when he when he sent it to me, I was actually with my girl at the time in the car, and I played it. I was like, "This is the one." Mm. But there was no um, there was not there wasn't like a thirty bass line on there yet. Mm. So I had my other guy. His name's Rico Rico Ray, uh, met at college producer. So Dami was quite busy. Mm. He, was, he had a lot of stuff that was going going through um, in his life in it with him mm. at the time. So he was like, "Bro, at the moment I can't." finish the project uh, right now so I said you know what do you mind if I get my boy to finish it off he was mm. like no no it's cool I was like I'm, my Jesus he's a good guy man. So, you know, most producers <laughs> don't want you to yeah, just yeah, touch yeah. their stuff and stuff like that so I sent it to Rico and he put like a kind of like a, a bashman e R and b bass line on it mm. and that was the one do you know what I mean I was like yeah that's what we need on there because mm. before it had like a trap um, bass, bass line on it and it wasn't really I wasn't feeling it it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't the right sound for it and then yeah, so them two marrying together, um, it started, that was nice, man. And obviously, I started writing to the beat, mm. I had the ideas before. So, the meaning of the tune. Mm. So Elsa, as um, you know, the Disney animation. Yeah, I was gonna say, oh, is there any r- relation <laughs> there to is, the film Frozen? Yeah, that yeah, is yeah. so Slimy. joke. Okay, <laughs> this is the that? reason why I am collects it, guys. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. What there is, is the correlation? I so, wanna know. so basically, you know, like um, Elsa herself, she's got like a. Uh, a gift that nobody kind of understands to start with in a community and don't really want to support her and mm. they think she's weird and that uh, she's crazy so they kind of drive her out until they kind of um, clock on to what she actually has mm. and then then they're like oh you've got a gift you've got this and then she builds on that You're so special. it's kind of the same thing <laughs> like it's um in my community I got I got so much support especially now but yeah. before there was support anyway but there was that whole like you know in your own town people don't really want to see you of succeed mm. do you know what I mean so they'll be like just any reason not to support so it was that it was coming from there mm. until when they start realising like you know what this guy's trying to do something with his life man do you know what I mean so like he's got a gift you mm. know let's support it so that's that's, that's, that's the thing that's In- really analytical you got all of that all of those characteristics oh. from Elsa I mean how many times did you watch the film <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm not going to lie that, that film bangs no, yeah. it does <laughs> like, I've nah, been forced to watch it, it like a million it, times so I understand the film bangs them Disney but, animations bang yeah listen listen I'm maybe better <laughs> They bang, yeah. but to analyze all of those qualities and that kind of situation from the film, like that's really good. And then to be able to transfer that into your music, that's yeah. really good. Well, Props it wasn't. It was. Thank you so much. Uh, it wasn't going to be called Elsa to start with. It okay. was actually. Um, I was thinking about the movie and that, uh, and then it was my brother, my older brother. He was like, "You know what? Just call it Elsa." Why not? You know what I mean, I was just like, you know what? Yeah, why not? Because I forced, first I thought it could be a bit cringy. People would be like, <laughs> why are you calling it Elsa? You know I mean, but I thought, you know what? It is what it is. In the next five years, where do you envision yourself? 
five years. Oof, that's that's tough. <laughs> I, I think, I think in the next like two years, I think I might. No, nah, I can't say. Yeah, I'm, we ain't gonna I, say I, might I out be, here. I got yes. to be positive, man. Breaking through mm. in the next two years, five years, um, few million views. Mm. Could be more. Mm. Um, I, think we I can't lie because to you because you know what's funny too. Mm. I've got to say this. Go Just on. in the middle of this interview too. <laughs> Even J One, J One about two years ago was DMing saying, "Look at my music. Oh, I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Now look at where he is." Yeah, do yeah. you know so, what? So like, Just on a side even note about J One, we were in the DMs chatting like what three months mm. ago about doing an interview here, mm. and we both just obviously never got around to doing it. And now I'm seeing him everywhere. So literally, Incredible. one of These the messages happen. we have to put out there is that your time is gonna come. Like Always. any single day, if you if you watch our interviews, if you listen to our show, you know we bring on all types of talent, and you mm. know that everyone everyone who we've had on from people like Swarms, AM mm. Skeng. Zek, all these type of people, they've said literally one day they just woke up and their phone just starts blowing up. So wow. that time can come. And to be honest, I think you need to give yourself some credit because I was doing a bit of the pre and on the Instagram, as you know, and I do. And um, you actually opened up for Jason Derulo. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. not minor. Talk to us about that. Well, so that. It's probably, arguably, no, it is probably the biggest show I've done so far. Uh, so, not um, everyone just opens up for Jason Derulo. <laughs> yeah, this is what yeah. I'm saying. Give well, yourself some credit. <laughs> no, thank you. Honestly, appreciate it. Uh, that come about through, um, I've got to shout out the DJ from Gallery. He's named DJ Clarkstar. So he heard Elsa mm. and he was like banging it every week for like a good month or two. Uh, yeah, month and a half, two months every week. And uh, I don't, I didn't know him at the time. So he would inbox me saying, bro, I said, big tune, man. Well done. I'm like, thank you so much. Because, you know, you know, when you write these, you don't expect people to yeah. give you that sort of reception. I was really grateful, so thankful for him that even just playing it. Because Gallery is a big club in Kent. It's the biggest club in Kent. They actually call it a super club. It's huge. So um, I remember, like, I've been there a few times with my boys. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice venue. So he was playing it, playing it, playing it. Then he just, one day, just inboxed me. And he said, um, would you like to perform here? I said, yeah, of course, man. Definitely, I'd love that. And he was like, uh, we've got Jason Derulo coming up in about a month and a half's time. As you do. Uh, <laughs> if his management are cool with it, blah, blah. We can sort artwork and then you can jump on. Sick. I was like, swear. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, wow. And I was thinking, you know what? What have I done to, to you know, for someone like him to just, just to inbox me out of nowhere? He plays a lot of people's music. But yeah. I was thinking, why me? Probably why likes just... Disney as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. <laughs> probably likes Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just really like just so grateful man really thankful just mm. the, the fact that he bothered yeah. to, to, to get hold of me and I was like you know what yeah definitely I'll take it mm. Mm. and then yeah uh, I kept thinking it's one of them things where you know when people say oh I'm gonna get you on this and it doesn't yeah. happen yeah. yeah. so yeah it, it was all all sound man he sort, sorted the artwork out I wanted like I would have preferred for it to be out earlier so I could have promoted a bit longer mm. but it was out like a week before so mm. was, it was only like me telling my friends and people that follow me mm. to come to the show mm. but it was a little little risk I was thinking what because the artwork weren't done I think what if I tell everyone to come and then it's always a risk towards those little, times isn't is it I'm it's saying. always um, but nah he, yeah. he kept it trill you know he sorted all of it out and yeah I had like a coach from Ashford of 50 people that were nice. willing to pay and come and watch travel to, to Maidstone and you obviously the performance itself was just Cray cray. Cray. Enjoyed, yeah because yeah. I was going to say the response that you got from the performance yeah, like yeah, the yeah. crowd the energy mm. it must have been like how did that feel no, it was mad it felt so good also like because like, the the chorus itself yeah it's quite it's, it's an easy chorus to, to, to learn and catch on to mm. so like by the time you when I, obviously when you do the first chorus by the time you get to the second chorus and the verse like most of the people know the words so like having like most of the people in the club itself I think it was like over 1,000 people mm. like a the majority of them singing along by the time you get to the symptom of the symptom it was hey, crazy hey, say, that again, say, that, say that again say that again say that again it was a symptom of the symptom hey <laughs> that's, that's the end of yes. bill. I like that little snippet of exclusive you see that that Most little definitely. snippet of exclusive there so obviously let's talk new music mm -hmm. so obviously Elsa's out there established What's what's next for you? Talk about because you said you've got a new track coming got a new out. New tune, yeah. Um, so yeah, got a new tune called Waves coming out. Hopefully, second of May. Mm -hmm. It's a Thursday, and gonna have a launch party for it. Nice. The day after as well. Nice. So yeah, that's the watch out for that one, man. Now yeah. I'm hoping it's gonna it's gonna make noise. And one. what's that one about then? So that one is literally about um, having a good time, like. Uh, enjoying 
the hard work. So like basically a lot of people try to say we make a lot of noise sometime when we when we're out, when I'm in my boys and stuff like that. But it's like um so just to give you a little snippet of what the bars are. So in the chorus it says um, spit some. No, I'm not gonna spit Go on. I'm not gonna spit it's not, it's not out. This is LD and RBS. No, no, no. You don't say you're gonna say some bars and don't get put on the nah. spot, right? Well, the well, any bars? Itself, yeah, at the start, maybe, maybe. maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we might do something later. later. But, um, yeah, the, the the chorus itself, it, it starts off with saying, if the turn up is too much, don't mind us. You don't know where we came from. Mm. We've suffered enough. It's a celebration every time we up. So it's one of them ones that, like, you know, just let us have our fun, man. We, mm. We've suffered, so let us, let well, us enjoy. Well, that's like, uh, that's the yeah. concept of the tune. That I one. have to jump in now. And they, these guys are looking at me because they know exactly what I'm about. Well, so, because this is LD and RBS. <laughs> okay. We're about that quality because we like people coming up here and speaking and saying exactly what they're doing and everything around it. But I like that rawness too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Ain't got to be a long situation. Yeah, but show yeah. us what you're about, man. LD and RBS. Because yeah. people will be listening to this going, I, I hear a lot of words, <laughs> but can he back it up? LD and RBS. Acapella too. Okay, say nothing. Let's Just go. Uh, oof, a little... Something light. Something to think about. Something okay. light. Just give the people a little bit of a A little something. Then. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Say nothing. It. Say nothing. Fenny, yeah, Diz. All right. So, um, I'd like to say I like who I've become, but I'm still coming. Lost a couple of friends because I'm painting a different picture. It's different when I feature. And they'll be getting no cold in me. And I see, can't be smoking on that loud, man. I got, oh, wait. Can't be smoking on that loud, man. I got a little brother. Got a lot of youngs that look up to me. Trying to make a way like a single parent. Working out just to pay the bills. Popping in them pills. There's you giving your mum hell. She can't tell whether you're a son in a black shell or white shell. Hey. Out here feeling alone. Got a chip on her shoulder, sat in the bugs in Malone. Wishing you hadn't grown. Hey, certain man finding comfort in others' failures. Only holler at you when they needed some favours. They say they seem a positive sign. That's a plus sign. Waiting for my time to come. That's a bus sign. Smile so much, man. I've stretched my nose, laughter. Gas myself, laugh, and everyone knows I talk shit to myself so I can feel better. About the shit I'm slowly getting into. I had bad habits forming a queue. Letting three or two. Had a galley cleaning my queue. On a knee or two. What a view. Definitely knew what to do. One out of a few. Hey, I spent money on coral. She spun my head around. I just wanted her number. She only gave me some of it. I bet she played me with Freddie just like the time with William. Will I am? Definitely never going back. I'm ashamed. What a bitch. Never trust coral. Now I've got to borrow and worry about tomorrow. I can never save money. It's running away from me. Let's, give him, so let's give him a clap out here. Let's give him a clap out here. I mean, I apologise for the, the few the few bad words there very early. But aside from that, we apologise again. Sharing, but but that, that was a bit less than light. Most definitely. That was a bit more than light. It. And what is your socials too for the people? Fenny Official. Yeah. So that's F-E-N-N-I-E and Official. So and what's next? What's coming what up for you? The tune. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, the tune's dropping. Waves. Then i got a... Uh, Launch party, like I said, the next the next day. Then I got a f- performing at a festival. Nice. Twentieth of. Are you gonna drop the festival or no? Yeah, I'll drop it. It's fine. Go on, drop Create it. a festival. Hey. Mm. Yes, yeah, in Ashford. So yeah, okay. come through, come through. Twentieth of May, I believe. So if you're down in Ashford at the twentieth of May, make sure you hit Create yeah. a Festival. Or June. One of them. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Well, yeah, when he gets the date June. right, <laughs> one of them. Yeah, when yeah, he gets yeah. the date right, yeah, then yeah, just make sure you get down there. Let's give it up. Hey. Let's give it up for Penny.